Tonight, clumps of algae spotted on the Treasure Coast. Five in the Sky captured this video of algae by Central Marine up in Stewart. We've already told you about the potential human health effects of toxic blue-green algae. But what do the discharges do to our local wildlife? We asked the experts that question today who told our Alex Hagan it's what's happening beneath the surface that's having the biggest impact. Working at a marina, you'd expect to see quite a bit of wildlife, right? Usually in our marina, you can see all sorts of bait fish, mullet. Mary Radabaugh says not lately. Wildlife is pretty much gone. When she actually does get a glimpse, they're surrounded by murky water, sometimes algae, like this manatee she spotted several weeks ago. Started at the end of the seawall and it kind of worked its way all the way down. No question blue-green algae is not good for the wildlife. That calls the St. Lucie River and Indian River Lagoon home. But that may not even be the biggest concern. We don't want to forget about the salinity issues generated by dumping this much fresh water into a place that's meant to be salty. Zach Judd at Florida's Oceanographic Society says the short-term worry is the loss of seagrass and oyster beds. Our seagrass beds are suffering, our oyster reefs are suffering, and then all those other animals that rely on those places for home, they're having problems as well. Animals that rely on both. Researchers told me several months ago there has been a 70% seagrass loss in the lagoon, and the current discharges are not helping, and more wildlife won't turn up in Mary's backyard. It's not just about big animals like manatees and sea turtles. In Martin County. But our game fish, our forage fish, our shellfish are all suffering. Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 5.